you may have seen yesterday the video that Nigel has recently arranged talking about 40 years of New Frontiers and we went through some of our experiences over those years uh, which was fun to do and I thought maybe for a few of these mornings I'd change style a bit and just relive some of the history that um, didn't come up in the interview perhaps but uh, nevertheless were extraordinary experiences you might be interested to hear maybe encouragement to you I'm reminded for instance when I was at Bible College as before the New Frontier story started and had been filled with the Spirit had been elected uh, college uh, prayer meeting leader and uh, as such had the uh, privilege to be able to invite one outside speaker a year uh, to speak to the student body and I'd invited Arthur Wallace and he came to speak on revival at my request and uh, gave a tremendous word but illustrated from what was happening in the Far East at the time Indonesia or maybe the Philippines where there was a revival happening including a lot of signs and wonders and miracles and uh, I was in trouble from the faculty for inviting a guy who spoke about supernatural because that was Really, in those days, that was just not on at all. And uh, to be honest, by that time, uh, I was having the joy of laying hands on a number of students and things were beginning to happen. It was quite a, a lively time at uh, London Bible College. And so we were seen as being somewhat contentious. Um, anyway, the next night, I was, at Lon I was at Westminster Chapel listening to the awesome Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones. Uh, what a preacher, hugely respected uh, by the college and indeed by anyone who heard him and uh, he was working through the book of Acts and had come to Acts chapter 8 and you know sometimes to sit and listen to Lloyd-Jones was just a, quite a phenomenal experience the power of God on his preaching was phenomenal and uh, he, he preached in Acts 8 Philip in Samaria and to be honest it sounded so similar to what I'd heard from Arthur you know about signs and wonders and all that happened in Acts chapter 8 and anyway, I thought, I'm going to go and see him. And I went round to uh, his uh, vestry and uh, he greeted me very warmly. And I, I just told him the story. I told him I was a student. I told him I'd been filled with the Spirit. And um, he didn't bat an eyelid at that. He was comfortable. And I told him how Arthur had preached and how I had been reprimanded for bringing in uh, someone who would say such things. And yet here he was, the highly respected Dr. Lord Jones, preaching almost the same thing. And I thought, well, let's see what he has to say. And to my great surprise, he said to me, um, how many points did I say I had tonight? And I didn't know I was going to be questioned. I said, uh, uh, you said three points at the beginning of your sermon. And he said, and how many points did I give? And I, th I thought, I don't remember him ever saying two or three. And so I said, one. And he made no reference to that while he was preaching, but I, I, I realized it and I, I said, one. And then he said, that's right. And then he said, God opened it all up to me while I was preaching. And then he looked at some uh, papers on his desk. He said, those notes would do for next Sunday. He said, God just came on me, came, opened it up to me. And, and he just followed the spirit, this wonderful man. And, and I said to him, well, you know, this is so, in a sense, frustrating. And he said, the greatest sin of the evangelical church today is telling God what he's not allowed to do. And I said, well, you know, it can become a basis for argument, but the tragedy is we're not seeing it anyway. I, you know, it's arguing about words. He said, no, no, no. He said, don't forget what it says. Ask and seek and knock. And every one of those three verbs is in the present continuous. Ask, go on asking. Seek, go on seeking. Knock, go on knocking. God's made promises. And so, in great contrast to the sort of conservative college, there was this wonderful man of God urging me, keep pressing on, be open to what God wants to do. Cry out to him for more of the Spirit. Let's believe God revival let me encourage you let's keep asking let's keep seeking let's keep knocking it's in the bible